So basically as a director and a teacher, I got into it through acting. So I studied acting for about three years when I was younger, got a diploma in that, worked in film and television, loved doing that, but also got a bit more hungry. So I went to film school, did a post-grad in film and television and got into directing, also got into writing. So it's a combination for me of writing, directing and acting. And I also bring all of those three sort of skills to teaching. And what I find in teaching, what I love about teaching is that all of those disciplines mirror all the other disciplines. So if you want to learn about writing, do acting. If you want to learn about acting, do writing. If you want to learn about direction, do acting. So the course that I do in terms of the acting course is very hands-on. Because the bottom line is you can't learn this stuff on the internet. The only way you can really learn is to fully embody the experience by physically doing it. So the acting course is 90% doing, where they come into the space, they start the day with basically how the hell are they going to end up performing a script by the end of the day with the script down. They're all terrified. So my job is to say, after 30 years of doing this, what essential tools can I teach people? that in a, in a couple of hours they can physically apply to working with actors and ultimately create a performance that works three-dimensionally. So it's teaching them the importance of character objectives, emotional arc in a scene and the importance of emotional journey and the physical blocking. So they're the three essential tools and we then get them directing each other using script. We work on improvisation so they can explore the basic fundamentals of, of how a story and a scene can play out through simply understanding objectives, which is based on the concept of how do you play games, hide and seek, to hide, to seek. That's all the direction you're given, but you can play on those objectives for half an hour. So we then say, These are, this is how powerful intention is and following objectives. Once we get those established in a scene, we say, all right, what's the emotional journey the characters are feeling? Because emotions within it, anything matters with emotion, nothing matters without emotion. So we realize that emotions are very powerful things. It's why people initially go to the cinema to elicit an emotional response. They go to thrillers to feel thrilled, suspense to feel suspense, romantic comedy, love, comedy, tragedy, to cry, feel sad. So they're buying an emotional experience. So they've got to learn how to evoke these emotions from actors in a way that makes the actor feel safe in the space and respected. And there are very simple tools and processes that I've learned, I suppose, after 30 years of doing this that I know work. So I can get anybody in this workshop who's done no acting to end the, the workshop performing a scene believably with an emotional arc with no script in their hand and it's electrifying. I find it just as inspirational now as I did when I started because the proof is in the doing. It's an experiential thing, it's not a theoretical thing. I mean, any, anybody can learn anything from a book, but what I love about this entire film course is all hands-on, from cinematography to editing to working with documentary. You can't beat it. And you can't beat the experience of sharing it with other people in a room that's the other, it's, it's you learn as much by what you do yourself, but you learn just as much by sharing the experiences as an observer and an audience member as well. And the other side that I also love is that I'm teaching what I know to be true. I mean, I've done this stuff, I'm still working as a commercial director. Um, I've learnt my stuff the hard way. And so therefore I, I speak my truth personally from my own experiences, as do the other teachers in this course. And I think that's another reason what makes the course really inspirational. Because they're walking their talk. They're very authentic, they're very real people. They're not academics. You're dealing with the real cold face of people talking about this is, this is how it really works. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna, if you're working on a scene as a director, you might have 10 minutes to work with your actors. So how in 10 minutes can you get a performance, sculpt to one, block it, understand how to clarify emotional intensity, the character's objectives and so on. So my, my trick is how do I give them the tools to get something happening very quickly? Rather than, I have to spend three years learning this stuff and I, over the years have asked me, well teach it in an hour and a half and I go, oh God, okay. If I had to, could I do that? And so it's like, a, it's a toolkit and it's a practical hands-on one and they work. And the basic principles you find in any acting process in any, you know, any college or any school in the world. And it's fun to see people who believe they can't do it suddenly doing it. And that's inspiring, you know what I mean? Because you see people becoming empowered, it's experiential. They suddenly know it's real because they've experienced it, they've done it, they've walked their talk. They can walk out now and work on those processes with somebody else and know in their heart they work and they're real. I could stand there for a day lecturing them 
and it's theory, but the truth is only something that's true when you fully Getting embody it. Confidence to go out and do it. Absolutely, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> you've got to do it. It's it's called acting to act. It's an it's an active. It's a dynamic thing. It's a doing thing. It's not a theorizing thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's fun, and it comes from play. I mean, it, it's called play, right? Screen play. To me, my philosophy is it has to be playful, because when you're in that playful space, you go back to being more childlike, which is just a joy of exploration. But to play any game, you just got to understand the rules. And when you understand the rules of how a game works, it's really easy to play. Anybody can play. And so I, I use games in my workshop as a, as a metaphor for working with actors and objectives. And we have a lot of fun. And within seconds, people go from being quite terrified of the prospect of performing to people there's a lot of laughter. Because everyone's back in that space of, this is fun, dude. I really love playing. It's a play. So we try not to take it too seriously because seriousness is adult concept that often kills that playful, spontaneous joy. And I try and keep the focus on that. So I'm very lighthearted in the way, I'm very playful in the way that I do the workshop. And oh, look, I have a lot of fun, mm. you know. That's really important.